Bienvenido, me encanta verte de nuevo. Hoy vamos a leer un libro que se llama You Can't Take an Elephant on the Bus. ¿Te imaginas meter un elefante en el autobús? Uh, me encantaría verlo. Y la pregunta que te hago hoy es, ¿en qué viajan al final todos los animales juntos? Presta atención y me lo cuentas al final del vídeo. Si tienes el libro, ve a buscarlo y leemos juntos. Soy Mónica, bienvenido a Peque Books. Today we're reading You Can't Take an Elephant on the Bus, written by Patricia Cleveland Peck and illustrated by David Tasseman. You can't take an elephant on the bus. It would simply cause a terrible fuss. Elephants' bottoms are heavy and fat, and it would certainly squash the seeds quite flat. And don't sit a monkey in a shopping trolley, for monkeys are naughty and find it jolly to snatch your shopping and chuck it about. No, leave monkey at home when you go out. No should tiger travel by a train. Think of the panic, think of the pain. Tigers are built to spring and to leap. Think of the passengers half asleep. And don't hail a taxi if the driver's a seal. With such slippery flippers, he can't grasp the wheel. The taxi will slither and probably swerve then throw everyone out at the very next curve. <laughs> a centipede on roller skates is rather bizarre. With 100 feet he'd go fast and go far. But to put on his boots would take him an age. He'd get in a temper, he'd get in a rage. And don't put a camel in a sailing boat. It's far too tricky to keep afloat. His hump and his feet would, I think, capsize the vessel and make it sink. A giraffe in an airplane wouldn't be right. The roof of the plane just hasn't the height. With legs and a neck so long and some bony and long, a giraffe on a plane would simply be wrong. <laughs> and don't ask a whale to ride a bike. Just imagine what it would be like without a bottom to sit on the seat. And how would he pedal without any feet? A peak on a skateboard? Another mistake. He'd be too heavy, it would probably break. Or his trotters would totter, unable to grip. And up and over, the skateboard would flip. And I wouldn't put a hippo in a hot air balloon. The basket's too small, there wouldn't be room. And if it did fly with Hippo's great weight, it would come crashing down in a terrible state. And never let a bear near an ice cream van. Bears gobble up ice cream as fast as they can. And if they're stopped, they get annoyed. And an angry bear is one best to avoid. Then how can we travel? The animals shout. How can we animals get carried about? What's the best vehicle? We haven't a clue. Well, I've got an idea. How about you? Yes, animals on roller coasters are good for love. There's room here for everyone, even giraffe. So it's goodbye to skateboards, balloons, and that bus, for we now have a conveyance that suits all of us. We. ¿Qué te ha parecido el cuento? 
Espero que te haya gustado tanto como a mí. Me parece una deliciosa locura todos esos animales por ahí. <risa> ¿Y viste en qué se desplazan todos juntos al final? ¿Lo comprobamos? ¡Oh! ¡Animals on roller coasters! Uh, esto sí que me gustaría verlo. ¿Ya sabías cómo se dice mo eh, montaña rusa en inglés? ¿Roller coaster? ¿Sí? Seguro que lo sabías. Y si no, pues una palabra nueva para hoy. Si te ha gustado el libro, te animo a comprarlo. Y no te olvides de suscribirte darle al like o compartir con tus amigos. Gracias por seguirnos y nos vemos con el próximo cuento.